What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how color schemes work with Lunar Vim. Uh, they're going to work pretty similarly to how they work with NeoVim and Vim. All of the color schemes that work with NeoVim and Vim will work with Lunar Vim. Um, and I'm going to show you in this video how to set them up and um, how to switch between them and a bunch of other cool features that Lunar Vim has that go along with color schemes. So what you're going to want to do is cd into .config lvim and open up your config.lua. Okay, uh, you'll see at the top here where we're setting the color scheme, uh, you'll probably have this in your example config.lua, but this is how you'll set the color scheme. Uh, we'll go into that in a second. The default will be one darker for, uh, for LunarVim. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna uncomment a few plugins here. Plugins work uh, just like this. You just put essentially like um, some curly braces and then just in a string here, you can just put the name of the color scheme repo here. So we're gonna pull in three, we're gonna pull in Lunar Vim color schemes, which is gonna give you like a bunch of different testing color schemes uh, that are being tested by me over in the Lunar Vim, Lunar Vim organization. Um, also, we're gonna bring in Tokyo Night from Folka and uh, Nord Vim, which is a very popular, um, which is a very popular color scheme. So we're just gonna save that um, and we'll install all three of them just like that. So what we can do next is we can do space and then what we'll do is S for search in LunarVim and then we'll do um, color scheme and then there's another one under here for P, it's color scheme with preview. So first we'll do C and you can kind of just go through the different color schemes. Um, let's see, we'll do Tokyo Night really fast. We'll do um, Nord, right? And then we'll just go back to uh, one darker. All right, and what you can also do is we'll do space SP and we'll get some nice uh, automatic previews here as we go through. So you can see a bunch of them that were added. A lot of these are built into NeoVim Core, things like Murphy, Morning, Kohler, Industry, uh, ones like um, Space Dark, System 76, um, and One Darker, Aurora, all these things, they're built into the Color Schemes repo um, in the Lunar Vim organization. And then obviously Nord and Tokyo Night are standalone color schemes uh, from, from you know independent repositories. So that's how we can set them like that and take a look at them. Now how can we set them uh, so that they actually persist? So we can change this up here and we'll change it to Tokyo Night just like that and we will open up this again, this file, and you'll see that the base color scheme is Tokyo Night, and now the Lua line uh, actually follows, because it doesn't seem to follow um, unless you actually change the color scheme. So if you just switch it on the fly, um, Lua line, at least right now, will not follow. All right, so now that we're over here with this new color scheme, uh, what you'll notice is that basically LunarVim is just NeoVim, right? So anything that you do in NeoVim or anything that you can do in NeoVim, you can do in LunarVim. So if we go over to Folka's uh, repository here for Tokyo Night, we can take a look. Um, he has some different variants here. He has Storm, Night, and Day. So if we wanted to change that, he provides a few things, like a few configurations, and you can see all the configurations right here that you can actually use. So what we're gonna do, is we're going to just change it to night just to show you that we can do this. You can change like the hint color here and a bunch of other things, but I'll leave that up to you if you want to like, because this is going to be repository specific. So whatever the repository actually provides, that's what you'll be able to use. So let's go over here and we're going to change it from storm, which is the one that we have active right now. We're going to change it to night. All right. And so this you can see, um, it changes to night and that's basically how that works. Uh, so let's talk about another thing when it comes to color schemes and like why you want a color scheme that supports tree sitter highlights. So you'll notice that different things um, are highlighted differently, right? Um, so you'll notice like this is a variable. This is um, like a property of that variable. Um, this is a string, right? Like this, this green here, and these are Booleans, so on and so forth, right? So they're all different colors, and like, why does this look so good where some other color schemes don't look so consistent and so good, right? 
Um, and the reason for that is tree sitter highlights. So let's go look at another project actually. And so we'll go to, um, let's go take a look at a JavaScript project. So we'll do source, components, header, there we go. So you'll see everything's very consistent, like um, functions are blue, properties are always, even in that Lua file, the property was this color, right? The functions will always be blue, um, so on and so forth. The, um, the variables are always going to be just this kind of like grayish color, right? Um, and that, that's like that's going to persist, and that's due to tree sitter. So one other thing like that I would recommend kind of installing, and this isn't a video really on tree sitter, but if you install the tree sitter playground, and then you can just do ts highlight captures under cursor, you can actually see what it is, um, what it actually is looking at here, right? So so this is a function, but any function in any language will will register as a tree sitter function if it's supported by tree sitter and it will be highlighted the same way across different languages. And so that's that's where you can get that consistency, right? Um, I'll do a video in the future on how to create color schemes with tree sitter support and um, like how tree sitter works and all that kind of stuff. That'll be coming in the future. But just know that Lunar Vim supports tree sitter uh, like by default, right? Um, let's see what we're gonna do next. And let me just show you that how I just did that. Um, so we'll open up config.lu again. And if I look for playground, what you would need to do, what I just did right there, and that I have mapped to um, space th so that I can see what something is, um, is you're going to need to pull in mvim tree sitter playground. Uh, you don't need this event there. You could just pull it in just like that. Whoops. You could just pull it in just like this. And Basically, what you can do after that is, if you want to have the same, uh, these are all my plugins that I have in my config, but if you want to have the same behavior, would just be to set up a witch key mapping. Um, and this is toggling playground, so, and then this is toggling the highlight. So if we do something like space um, TP, we actually, and this will look crazy to you if you're not familiar with how tree sitter works, um, but you'll have this nice playground there. Um, and then if you're on top of some, you know, symbol or some, some, uh, some thing, whatever property function, whatever it may be, if you do space T H, there you go. All right. And if your language isn't supported by default, um, here, what I would do, what I would recommend is do T S install, and then you can just do tab and then you'll be able to tab through all of the languages. Um, that are supported by tree sitter and this is all built into lunar vim uh, so you don't need to really do any setup for this you can just install um, the support for your particular language all right so that's pretty much it for color schemes and a little taste of what's going on with tree sitter um, let me jump back over here so i'm just going to go through some of the places where you can find uh, me and where you can find LunarVim and how you can support the project. Um, obviously, you can go check it out over on LunarVim.org. That's where I recommend you go read about um, a lot of this stuff. There's other things like transparent windows that we can do, um, and just like we'll we'll be fleshing a lot of this stuff out in the future. Uh, you can find me over on GitHub. You can sponsor me there, and then I'm also part of the LunarVim organization, which you can check out. Uh, here's that color schemes repo, so you can go see that in the LunarVim org. Here's one darker.nvim, which is the color scheme that is defaulted in LunarVim, and obviously here's LunarVim here. Uh, you can check out my blog. In the future, I may be doing. Um, I still need to update this to to reflect LunarVim and IMV code, but. Um, you can find all my social medias here and you'll you'll probably be able to find future blog posts on LunarVim and other interesting stuff. Uh, you can also follow me over on Odyssey. I'd rather you do that than follow me on YouTube. Um, Twitter, I'll be posting these videos over there if you want to keep up to date. You can support the project over on Patreon um, for as little as like three bucks a month. If you like LunarVim, you can support it here or obviously the sponsors that I showed you earlier. Um, and also sometimes I'm over on Twitch 
Uh, also, check out these color schemes. So check out Folka's Tokyo Night. Uh, there's lots of great color schemes in the community. Um, I don't know if they're all in one place that you can really find them or whatever, but the ones that I use in this video are Tokyo Night. I know it's really like super popular. Um, the color schemes repo over in the LunarVim org. Um, you can see all the different color schemes that we have here if you go into templates. And this is also an easy way for you to make color schemes, and I'll show you how to do that in the future. Um, it's pretty trivial to create a color scheme using this repository. But if you go into the templates, you'll see all of the different color schemes here, and you'll be able to see um, you know, what colors we're using. So if you're trying to make your own and you like a few of the colors, uh, you can check it out. You can check out like the whole palettes uh, for all of these right here. All right, and then also NordVim. Um, this is over at Arctic Ice Studio, so you can check that out. I know this one's also uh, really popular with a lot of like, um, oh, like a lot, I, I feel like way too many people use this color scheme, but, but um, I know it's really popular, so you can check that out too. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.